is the iFlight Blitz E80 Pro ESC cross compatible with the T Motor Pacer H7 flight controller. I mean, yes, if you repin them, any anything's compatible. You might have to repin it. Let's look. Where's my pinout diagram? Where's my pinout diagram? Where's my pinout diagram? Oh, you're not gonna give me a silk screen on the flight controller? Anybody who makes a flight controller and they don't have a silk screen label for their plugs, F you. I'll say it. Put so put, put a label on that plug. Oh, here it is. I can look it up on the internet. F you. No, don't make me look it up on the internet. You don't know what you don't know what I'm going through. I'm sitting under a tree in the woods in the desert. I'm in a mud pit. I'm hanging out the back of a car. I'm trying to solder up your flight controller. I want to pull out my phone, try to look up the Hold on, I got to look up the pinout, guys. Oh, I dropped my phone. Can we go back? No, we can't. The rebels might catch us. <laughs> there goes my phone. Ah, I guess I don't know what the ZSC pinout is. <laughs> uh, no, they're not compatible. Ground VBAT one two three four current TX. This one goes VBAT ground current TX one two three four. They're not compatible. Now. All you have to do is just repin the plug so they're in the right order and then they can work together. That's easy. Well, it's easy ish. It's not easy. It's way harder than you think it ought to be. People, I, I, it's easy for me. But people find it very difficult to do to repin correctly. But if you can repin a connector, you can use them together. They're not compatible out of the box.